how do you do? I see you've met my season 7 exclusive loop of WWE Supercard. Oh, yes, welcome, welcome. It's my yard here. And oh, we're going through a time warp, a new logo, a new interface. And we're just going to briefly show you the modes and stuff, such as on demand play of all the weekly events. So you can now play Raw or Royal Rumble or Elimination Chamber before your very eyes whenever you like. Uh, or give those super coins. We don't see the super coins in action. We don't know what's in the store or anything like that. In this demo pre-build, I don't get to keep any of these cards. There is also an option to get straight to the draft board. Finally, for someone like me, who just really plays King of the Ring and TBG and stocks up on picks, being able to go to the draft board anytime I like is a very helpful addition. Performance Center is still there. But then we have the catalog, the three new tiers uh, behemoth being the top swarm being next and then biomechanical uh being the lowest of the newest tiers they are all above SummerSlam 20. um we've unlocked quite a few uh behemoth or behemoth depending on your pronunciation of the cards a lot of swarm cards and a lot of the biomechanical cards as well We've only had this a small engine of time to be, play the game. Um, we were able to have King of the Rings spared up for us, so we were able to unlock stuff a lot quicker. And and picks from the draft board were instantly um, a reset. So again, we weren't getting Neon or uh, the Shattered cards. We were getting everything above it, which was good. It makes things very easy. And it also shows us the levels of the of of the absolute abilities that are available for the superstars. You've got collections, these foundation sets. If you unlock these six characters or three characters from a particular tier, you will get a card of a random um I say a random set, it's a random card from the set above, which is good. If you are trying to get to that tier and you yet you are not been able to make it, it will come massively in handy we've got to show you we'll do it in a wild match we're going to show you um super moves and the abilities the new sort of um styles and techniques that superstars have and we'll go in when we go into the characters in greater detail which uh, characters have what from what we've unlocked as well so here's my yard i've unlocked batista oh yeah oh yeah Super move is already ready to be activated. Every time you have a game, the percentage will go up until you get 100%. And then you may activate it at any time you like at that point for one time use. So we're doing a tag team match. I've activated the super move. So, oh, we've hit the stunner and the Batista bomb. I mean, we're facing against the Shattered and Neon. This is a huge point difference. Not gonna lie, we're talking millions. And we get a bonus of 100% on all stats. So instead of 4 million, they're 8 million each. Oh, this is going to be good. Let's see the animation. Obviously, when you play Supercard after a while, you just quickly ignore all the animations. That's to be understandable. You want to quickly complete it. But we're going to show it in great detail. They are mega morphing up, as it were. They are supercharging with their super move. Ouch. And look at them ascend to the heavens. After the win, 55% chance to apply over damage into the next match. So that uh, technique has been activated for Cesaro. So Cesaro is currently on 5 million. He is now 23.54 million. I think we're going to win that. That's probably the highest card in the history of Supercard right there, folks. 23 million stats on everything. That's why the image on the right of your screen at the beginning. How did we get to that amount of points? That's how. Overrun. The techniques. He also has a 5% boost because of um, PvP. Uh, with the Raw Royal Rumble stuff, uh, we were able to get up to the first level on that. So he has the biggest stats. Plus he's been fortified to level 1. We got a fortify in our demo. Yeah, we unlocked Cesaro as a um, pro in the demo pack they gave us, which gave us quite a few um, of all the new cards. Not everything, as you can see, but enough to get us started and through a tier pool we pulled another Cesaro which was awesome so it gives you a little bit of a stat boost of course and um, we're not going to show you the picks because like I say it's just going to show you most of the old stuff unless we got really lucky and pulled a tier pool on it but we come in and out of it at all times 
King of the Ring, already completed, so you can see in Swarm, we've got 25 picks, and we've got two SummerSlam 20 cards for just hitting the semi-finals. Now, if we look at the ranks, uh, only here you can see I've got seven pros. Um, we have, on top of that, we've got a Swarm Pro for can, uh, Candice LeRae, uh, and then a normal Behemoth for... Which one uh, is it? Sasha Banks? Yep, Sasha Banks for that one. And then Asuka is a fortified uh, biomechanical. That fortified biomechanical has actually got better stats than Sasha for being a regular behemoth. Now, the stats may change and everything, but that's interesting to know. Um, a normal pro biomechanical won't be as big as a behemoth, but a fortified could be better. Which, over time, we'll see how that affects when it comes to leveling up into getting into Swarm and getting into the top tiers of Behemoth. Other than that, let's see what else we need to talk about. Um, just overall art styles, techniques you can change. Um, you can pay coins if you don't like the technique a particular superstar has. It can be shuffled at any time. So if you're playing a particular mode and you need to have damage over being overrun more than anything else, maybe for or keep get your stats up. Maybe for Royal Rumble you want to try and recoup um, health as much as possible and if your characters have that, maybe having Defend or another option to be able to push it up would be more of your beneficial. Or Overrun for maybe if you have a really powerful guy that you can only use once and you want to keep as much of that damage for the next match, Overrun will, will definitely help you. Look at what happens to Cesaro with the Super Move. Super Move linked into an Overrun caused mechanical mayhem as it were absolutely king kong worth of damage uh i'm just showing you that some of these guys have equipment on them we unlocked a few bit of equipment others have been matched up full pro perfect pro and all that as well so you can see stats when it comes to that too and they're really really big in stats i mean you can see the exact stats there obviously it, when you see the card itself They've been fractalized to the decimal point now, so it's only four numbers you see. But obviously, going into the card, you can see all seven digits of the millions and millions of the super card stats. I like my puns, okay? If you notice, actually, the background I'm using is a combination of all the previous tiers that Supercard have news. We've got Elemental, SummerSlam, Cataclysm, WrestleMania, all mixed into that background for the thumbnail. And as you can see, now we're just going to go bit by bit into the stats. You can see Asuka, oh sorry, Asuka is a little bit less than Sasha. I do apologise, but better than Shayna Baszler. Very interesting to know, isn't it? Um, both of them also have equipment on them as well, just to prove that there isn't really much of a difference. A fortified Asuka is better than a Shayna Baszler at present. Supercard is one of those games, as we're going through all the images, so you can talk amongst yourselves while I go through this. Uh, Supercard is one of those games that I always play uh, when I get an off chance. I like it for TBG, I like it for uh, the, the Wing Domination and stuff. So I still play it, even now, seven seasons on, and that's crazy. I remember playing Season 1, I remember playing it at uh, the Eurogamer Expo, um, during uh, coffee break, not coffee breaks, doing cafe breaks when we were going out um, and everyone was addicted to it back then as well it was a viral sensation season one and you think about all the cards that have been through all the artworks all the stats i mean 1200 stats for crazy now we're into seven digits not four digits the exponential rise is becoming insane and it's hopefully we will see in the future um we're hoping to see war games at some point. Uh, we didn't get to see it in this demo unfortunately, but we will see how War Games affects the WWE Supercard standings. I like the new logo, it's a nice clean up. Uh, it definitely works when it's on a white background. I'm a bit unsure if it's going to work on a red background because I've got colour blindness. I think the red's just going to sort of blend into it. Other than that, there's some lovely looking, as we hit the biomechanical cards, there's some lovely renders of the superstars. And yes, I've unlocked quite a few of them that could be fortified if I had the time. But we don't get to keep these cards as much as I would love to be in Behemoth Plus at this point, before the game even starts. That's 
not going to happen. Oh well, just means we have to earn it the old fashioned way. But it was very thankful of uh, 2K and Cat Daddy to give me the opportunity to play the beta. Um, as you know, over the years I have been to Cat Daddy's offices themselves to actually play uh, Money in the Bank when it first came out years ago. A lovely experience that was as well. And I'll still be playing it this year as well. And we finally get some stuff that we've been wanting. And it makes these sort of, especially with the techniques and the super move, it means it makes things more complicated, but in a good way. Sometimes just cranky numbers may not help people. I think this will add a bit more strategy, especially if you know there's some characters you can't beat in, let's say, Road to Glory. Super carding yourself with the new super moves with the techniques will work wonders and may help a lot of lower ranks get the position they need to qualify into the future. Thank you very much for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe for more WWE Gaming goodness, and we'll see you very soon. Okay? Take it easy. Bye-bye.